All right, so uh, welcome to this uh, new class of B207A. Uh, we are uh, right now in week seven. This is week seven course material, um, operations strategy. So let's recap a little bit what we have taken so far in this course. Uh, the main topic of this course is innovation, right? This is block one title, it's, a, it's innovation. Uh, we started with marketing, and now we moved to operations management. Marketing and operations management are two business functions where innovation could make huge differences in, uh, in what we are doing. Um, so for operations management, um, as we said last time, operation is the heart of what the business does. So if, a, if, you, if we have a factory producing chairs, uh, the this fa the operation managers of the factory are the ones responsible of producing these chips. If um, if you have a, a bakery, for example, the operations managers of this bakery are the ones responsible in applying the recipes and making sure the raw materials are available, uh, making sure that the process is working well, making sure it's fast efficient and actually is making us money at the end of the day. OK, so all of these are responsibilities for operations managers. Here you can see lots of opportunities to innovate, to come up with uh, ideas, to change things and to uh, save money or save time or make things better. Uh, operations management is an area that innovation uh, could always be implemented. Uh, so in the previous week, we uh, discussed what is operations management and how uh, a process uh, is given certain raw material and it gives you what? An output. OK, so this the, the, the process, it's like a box. We draw it. We draw it like a box. Just give it raw material. Um, Eggs, uh, flour, uh, uh, baking powder, uh, vanilla, uh, sugar. OK, and then a certain process will happen in order to give you the final product or service. In this case, in the bakery example, uh, it will be a cake or uh, or uh, cookies or anything else. OK, uh, so. Today. We are going to move into a new reading, uh, which is titled Operations Strategy. What does the word strategy mean? Yeah, so we need to have a certain way of moving. OK, so uh, imagine. Uh, imagine I'm here and I want to go uh, to um, Rauda Street, for example. There are many different routes for me to arrive from campus to Browder Street. OK, same thing for organizations. If you are in point A and you want to arrive to point B, there will be different strategies or different ways to arrive to your point B. Each organization would select. This is a business decision that the organization makes. will select a different strategy uh, to uh, achieve its objectives. OK, so here we want to uh, define what's operation strategy. Now, let me ask you this question. Now, I want you to think about the organizational strategy as a whole. OK, and then each business function will have a strategy. OK, um, let's say IKEA, for example. IKEA has a certain strategy as a whole, but this strategy is also transferred to the operations management strategy, to the marketing strategy, accounting strategy, human resource strategy. Okay, so each business function will take its strategy from the overall strategy of the organization. Okay. Because we want to be working on the same strategy. If you go in a different route, you will be lost. OK, all of the organization should be 
should stick to the same strategy because we want to be consistent. OK, we'll go back to the uh, uh, to the example of IKEA. IKEA has what we call a low cost strategy. OK, so this low cost strategy is seen in every decision uh, that is made by the IKEA management. All right. So think about uh, the production of their products, um, how the products are uh, packaged and in, in flat boxes in a way that makes it much less expensive to ship, to store, and even for a customer to take it home in their own big car. Okay, so all of this, all of these decisions were made in line with the organizational strategy of low costs to make it uh, fast and efficient and easy okay to for customers to uh, take their products home and assemble their products themselves and so on all right now marketing as well would follow a, a strategy that will also uh, communicate in a similar manner with the customers the promotions uh, the advertisements that you see all the kind of communication that you see in marketing would also be in line. You cannot say something else about IKEA. You have to really understand what the strategy is before communicating with the customer and so on. All the business functions should follow a similar strategy. So that's what operations strategy is. So a, a nice definition, the pattern of strategic decisions and actions that set the role, objectives and activities of the, the operation. OK, so if I want to go from this campus to Rauda Street, um, I have to take a decision which route to take, right? So the, the good decision, uh, the better my decision is, the better my strategy will be to, uh, to get there uh, faster, maybe, or uh, easier, or depending on what we need out of this strategy, OK? So these decisions are mainly taken in the development of four key areas. So what kind of things do we want to make decisions in? We have four key areas that we will want to make the decisions. First of all, we want to make decisions in capacity and facilities. What does capacity mean? Exactly, الساعه, so capacity is how much we could, uh, how much we are capable of having as a production or, or products or what's the volume Victor, that I can. Victor. Okay, so. Victor. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, can you just please explain Arabic and English because they can't get all the points in English only. If you only, in, only in English? No, English and Arabic, a little bit because they can't get everything in English. Uh, uh, do we have uh, anybody here who doesn't understand Arabic? Anyone on, uh, on the VC? OK, so this means that I can sometimes uh, uh, pass some Arabic words. If we have nobody, uh, so everybody here are Arabic speakers. طيب. Capacity, يعني الساعة. Okay, or facilities are the places that we will pick for our uh, for our location. Okay, uh, let's think about IKEA again. Capacity and facility. Okay, IKEA, where, where does IKEA chooses its locations? Far from the city. Exactly, city far from the city. It's never in a downtown area. ولا مرة بتكون وسط المدينة أو أو بين الناس أو شيء. على طول IKEA's facilities because they are low cost uh, providers 
they want to reduce their cost of lands, of real estate. يعني بدنا نخفف سعر ال ال real estate اللي نحنا عم عم ندفعه صح. So the facilities here we have some decisions that we want to make. All right, in order for us to follow the the strategy of this organization. Okay, so this is what capacity and facilities are. So how many facilities should we have? Usually in big cities, IKEA has only one, one store. And sometimes for small countries, there is one IKEA for two countries, sometimes in, uh, in other places of, uh, in the world. All right, uh, so how big should each site be? Okay, this is related to the capacity. Can we increase or decrease the facility? Okay, it, it depends on the capacity of uh, the business. Where should these be located? So, how many? Where should we lo locate them, and how big? These are really big decisions taken by operations uh, managers and executives. So, okay. So, this is the first decision area. Of operation strategy. Another. Yeah, تفضل. Capacity مو برضو ال production إنه عندهم mass production. ال ال capacity هي how much we are able to produce. إديش نحنا قادرين نستوعب ااا نستوعب production. Okay. طبعا هي لها علاقة بالديماند. يعني يعني مش مش بس إديش أنا قادر ااا صنع بس كمان إديش ح في يعني قديش متوقع ان يبيع بعدين شو sure. اوكي okay. بس sometimes بيكون في طلب كثير كبير من من السوق بس انا ماني قادر لحق على طلب السوق سو so بتكون ماي كاباسيتي ليس ذان ذا ديماند اوكي كاباسيتي هي المقدره هي المقدره على انه انا اقدر صنع ولا بيع او اعمل اوفر لاني سيرفيس يعني موجوده Okay, now the second decision area is called supply chain development. What does supply chain mean? No idea? Mouridin. Nowadays we hear a lot about this term because we have a worldwide problem. Supply chain management. Okay. What is this problem? Uh, uh, during the Corona time and after the Corona time, uh, we are having this problem because uh, there was an interruption in Fito if at some point because of Corona, there was uh, interruption in some factories, uh, in some uh, 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 logistics. Transportation. Transportation, exactly. The transportation from one country to another. So, sorry, shortage of some products. على بعض ال ال يعني ببعض الأشياء بال بالعالم. Okay. So this is a worldwide problem. Because of this problem, okay. So this is one of the problems that have created the high inflation. What what does inflation mean? التضخم. يعني بسبب بسبب هاي الأشياء ساهمت سلسلة التوريد العالمي بتضخم. Why? صار في shortage of things. So people now have more money. Okay, and that's in the last year. يعني when the, the inflation started to increase, uh, people all of a sudden had more money than products. Okay, so the the price for the products will start to increase. Okay. Again, this is not the only reason. This is one of the reasons of inflation that uh, was created uh, during the past uh, the past couple of years. Okay, so the supply chain development for IKEA. Let's also think about IKEA. So uh, for supply chain, it will start from where IKEA gets the wood. Okay, the wood particles. IKEA to stamina al khashab al madghout. Not always. Uh, يعني يعني خشب أصلي، right؟ هيدا الخشب المضغوط. How do they make it? They they process pieces of wood, okay, and they make them very small, like a powder, تقريبا like a powder, and then 
بيضغطوهم they recompress them okay and uh, now you find the a block of uh, of wood for example if you buy a desk or you buy a table from ikea you 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 look at it it's just like wood but this is not real wood that comes uh, directly from trees okay so it's processed in a way that become becomes uh, uh, having the look of uh, the wood so the supply chain starts from the first step where uh, the wood was made okay until it reaches a wholesaler and then the factory and then being transported here to Jeddah for example and then being bought by the customer hey this is the that starts from raw material until it reaches the consumer okay so today any product you buy from the supermarket or from the mall think about its supply chain uh, uh, how it reached you okay so if you buy a can of tuna think about who somebody actually had brought this uh, fish from the sea it was taken to a factory and then the factory had to use also another factory to produce the cans and then the, it was uh, transferred to a wholesaler. The wholesaler takes it on the truck to be transported uh, to your uh, uh, to your country and then to the supermarket and then to you. OK, so there is a long route for products starting from their raw material before they reach the final consumer. OK, is it clear? Yes. So here we have some questions about the strategy. كيف يعني استراتيجيتنا كيف حتكون بخصوص سلسلة التوريد? How much of the total value chain do we own? Okay. شركتنا الشركة تبع الشركة اللي نحنا عنا إياها. How much do we own of this بهيدي سلسلة التوريد? هل نحنا بس جزء صغير من سلسلة التوريد أو نحنا كذا شركة جوات سلسلة التوريد؟ Okay. Um, if you ever go to uh, Panda supermarkets, you will notice that Panda has a Panda brand. صح? Okay. So it means that Panda, for those brands, they have a direct contract with factories. Correct? to produce a can of tuna, to produce a can of corn, to produce oil, uh, paper towel, uh, cleaning detergents, all these things have the Panda brand on them. It means that Panda, for those products, didn't use the wholesaler. They went directly to the factory and they asked the factory to produce their products and to place the label of Panda on the product, صح? This is what they do. So here, in this case, Panda owns more than one, more than one uh, uh, stage, okay, of the supply chain. So Panda بهال حالة عنده أكثر من محطة واحدة بسلسلة التوريد. Okay, it ha it owns, لأنه it's it's skipping. Uh, distribution, it's becoming its own distributor. All right. Uh, sometimes, يعني, if Panda decides to open its own factory for a certain product, Kaman Panda will have an extra presence in the supply chain. Okay. اليوم الشركات العالمية عم تتحارب على هيدا الموضوع. إنه who owns more in the supply chain will have more power. Okay. Whoever whoever owns uh, more, uh, ممكن يكون عنده power أكثر يفرض فروته على ال على ال uh, players البقيين and so on. How many suppliers should we have? How global is our our supply network? How global? Does Panda produce all of its products in Jeddah? No, there are other countries where Panda would go to and asks for its products to be produced. Okay. So maybe it produces some of its products inside Saudi Arabia, but some others will be produced somewhere else. Again? 
technology. Technology is another decision area where we need to make decisions. How automated are our processes? Uh, how much machines should we get? We are all hearing now about AI, artificial intelligence, right? Do you hear the news? And the Kaal Astinari, it will replace the jobs of people. Okay, so in companies will have to make a decision in how much technology to add to their production, to their sub, to their operation. Okay, uh, so again, this is another decision area. The fourth decision area are the workforce, the people who work. Um, how to create the management, how hierarchical the management is. Who reports to who? Uh, how do we group our departments? How do, we, how do we divide up the work? Who is responsible for what? All of these are key questions uh, to make about the decision. What are the skills that we need in our operation? Who should we hire? And we need certain skills. To, uh, to finish the job. All right, so in practice, the process of operation strategy development is often seen as one of market reconciliation. Okay, the word reconciliation means that it's not stable. Uh, it's something that will always take into consideration the market position here. Okay, so. This is the market requirement. يعني هاي ده الطلب من الماركت. Okay, the demand من الماركت. Uh, على طول بيتغير. The demand is never stable. على طول بيتغير. لا. لا. Customers برا هن شو طالبين وشو بدهن وشو requirements اللي هن بحاجة لها. Um, بنفس الوقت نحنا شو عنا resources. نحنا شو قادرين نقدم. What the company is able to uh, to provide to its operations, okay? So we need to find a match between what the market needs and what we are able to produce, okay? So let's say the market needs uh, top of the line, um, uh, let's say, um, clothing item, uh, dress, let's say, uh, a dress that has is a very uh, high quality fabric. Okay. But our operation strategy is about reducing costs. Okay. Um, this, this is not a match. It means that I'm looking at the wrong market requirement. First of all, I have to look at the market requirement for my own target market. Okay, and then it has to be in, it has to fit what my strategy is, and also it has to fit what I am able and capable to provide to this, uh, to this operations. Okay, is it clear? Is this uh, graph clear? Yes, it is. So here we have three general themes about how operations strategy is defined and reconciled. So either you go with the market influence or the operations strategy. Okay, so let me go back here. So either you go with exactly what the market wants or you only go with what the operations uh, resource is able to provide, or uh, the corporate entrepreneurial vision, where you have to make the word entrepreneurial means, uh, yani we are constantly changing and able to uh, create new ideas and and be innovative all the time, right? Uh, so uh, of course this is a very good. Uh, uh, way of always, especially in technology sector, of always being on top of what the market is demanding. Now, 
we have what we call the performance objectives. In your strategy, uh, there are things that you need uh, uh, to have as objectives. Okay, so the quality of the products that you are producing, the speed, the flexibility, the sustainability, the dependability and the cost. We are going to explain each one of these separately. Okay, so basically the main concept here, uh, yani, uh, suppose you have a pizza place. Okay. You can make the best pizza in the world, the highest quality pizza with the most expensive ingredients. Uh, and maybe your pizza uh, will take a long time to be cooked. Okay, and then nobody will buy it. Because it's very expensive and it takes a long time uh, to be made. Okay, so that's not what is required of an operation. المطلوب من الاوبريشن انه انه الاوبريشن يكون عنده certain quality okay certain speed certain flexibility okay all of these objectives that are consistent with what the market the target market wants okay يعني مش بالضروره يكون عندنا احسن كواليتي لو انا تارجت ماركت منه طالب احسن كواليتي اوكي مش بالضروره يكون عندي ارخص سعر لو هو التارجت ماركت مستعد يدفع اكثر اوكي سو ذيس اوبجيكتيفز شود بي تيكن از ريليتد تو ذا استراتيجي اوكي سو ليت ستارت وذ ذيم وان باي وان وات داز كواليتي مين جوده وات داز ات مين high cost or low cost okay maybe right now we Hi. can we could see it. yes uh, anybody saying on the vc yes it's high uh, always the performance uh, linked to the high performance uh, related sometimes to the high cost yeah but yani when you say high quality this is something that you have an opinion in yani right now we could look at the same product, you and I. Maybe uh, you find it a low quality product. I find it a high quality product. OK, so this is something related to the customer view of things. So please, whenever somebody asks you about the quality of a product. Don't say high quality and low quality. Who measures high quality? How is high quality measured? This is something of uh, uh, subjective. يعني هذا له علاقة ب بأراء ال customers. What makes a good quality and a bad quality? Okay. وله علاقة بالسعر كمان. يعني sometimes if you see a dress uh, costing a thousand real. Okay. So you try to touch the fabric and you say, well, this is not worth a thousand real. Okay. It's uh, too expensive for the quality. It means. It means that this is not the right quality uh, product. OK, so these five objectives are connected together. OK, how are they connected? They are connected with the strategy that is all also related to what the customer needs outside. OK, so quality. High performance products often need to have their quality defined by clear specification. OK, so I specify how, uh, for example, this phone is made. OK, I have a clear specification and it's very clear how it's made. Um, so either in terms of what they can do or in terms of a product characteristic. It must also be considered that customers judge the quality through perception. So any quality cannot be judged by the organization only. It has to be judged by the perception, what the customer thinks about the quality. Type speed, what does speed mean? Operations need to perform a task in the shortest possible time pos uh, span. Uh, yes, you can make the best cake in Jeddah, but if it takes you five hours to make the cake, 
okay? Maybe your business will not make any money, okay? Uh, so you need to make your products in the shortest possible time, but not to lose the quality that you are after. Flexibility. What does flexibility mean? Maruna. Maruna. Okay. So you have your pizza store. Your customer calls you and say, I want my special toppings on the pizza. Okay. Um, you don't you don't usually make this this kind of pizza uh, with shrimp, for example. Okay, so you say, oh, sorry, we can't make your uh, your pizza. This means that you are not flexible enough to accommodate your customer demand. Okay, so the more you can accommodate your customer demand, the more flexible your business is. Okay, now we have several kinds of flexibility. Variety flexibility is the ability to produce more than one type of product or service. So if your uh, customer asks you to change something with your product, okay, you are able to create a new product quickly for them. This is called variety flexibility. It's a new variety means it's a new okay? Mix flexibility. Um, is the ability to cope with different types of customers, products at the same time or in close sequence. Okay, so uh, if different types of customers come at the same time, you can serve the customers. Volume flexibility, what does it mean to have volume flexibility? Okay, so if all of the sudden you have very high demand, Okay, you can bring more employees, for example, for the weekend, you can bring more employees to serve your customers who all of a sudden want to come on the weekend or uh, dinner time. This is called volumes uh, uh, flexibility. Okay, uh, response flexibility is a change Change is needed very quickly, for example, to respond to a sudden rush of customers into the shop. You didn't expect that today, Wednesday, people all of a sudden will come together. Can you, can you serve their, uh, their demand or not? Now, another performance objective is called sustainability. One widely used definition of sustainability uh, يعني كلمة sustainability بنسمعها كثير nowadays, right? Right? يعني قلولنا don't use the natural resources. We want to remain sustainable. Don't use a lot of water. Don't use a lot of plastic. This is environmental sustainability. Okay? So capable of being maintained at length without interruptions or, or the sustainability is a method of harvesting or using a resource so that the resource does not finish very quickly. Okay, so we have two things. The first one, sustainability is being able to keep working, okay, without you missing a certain raw material. يعني مثلا عما تعمل الكيك or the pizza, you are making your pizza, suddenly you are out of flour. خلص من عندكم الطحين. Okay. So, حيصير في interruption. حيصير في توقف بالoperation. Okay. This is part A. This is A. B, sustainability is also related to the use of resources of the, of the world. The use of uh, metals, the use of water, the use of uh, chemicals, and, and so on. Another operations uh, objective is called dependability. What does dependability mean? Atimadiyah. Atimadiyah, great, great. Okay, so your business, you should be able to depend on this business. Okay, so suppose uh, you call this pizza place and you uh, order 10 pizzas because you have friends coming over at nine. All right. Uh, and you assume 
that the pizzas will come at nine. Okay, nine, nine thirty, ten o'clock. The pizzas aren't here. Can you depend on this business next time? No. So dependability means standing by your promise. Okay, it's uh, being there on time as you promised. Not only on time, but also the quantity and the quality of things that you have promised to uh, to make. This is what dependability is. The last operations objective is, is the cost. Uh, cost, absolutely, is an extremely important objective. OK, because you can make the best cake in the world. You can make the best pizza in the world that costs you a lot of money. You want to make your products in a good quality. You want to make them fast, but also you want to make them efficient and they don't cost you a lot because after the cost, you are going to put your price. And your price will depend, it will make your, your profit. OK, so the lowest your cost is, uh, the more profit you can make later on. OK, uh, so the total unit cost is influenced directly by factors such as cost of the material and labor. So you're making a pizza. How much is the cost of pizza on you? It depends on how much raw material you put, the type of products you, uh, you use, and also how much uh, you pay your employees, how much you pay for rent, how much you pay for, uh, you know, for all your bills. All of this will, will be part of your cost. OK, so we need to pay attention to the cost because it's part of our profit. Now. So a uh, polar representation of performance objective. What is the polar? This is the polar representation. OK, now here the purple and the orange are two different businesses. OK, now just look at the graph. Look at the graph. What do you think the business in purple is mostly interested in? Yes, OK, so there is a higher. Um, a higher uh, uh, importance placed on the cost. OK, number two, meeting the specification, which is the quality. OK, and order lead time, which is the speed. OK, this is number two. Number three. The on-time delivery, the variety offered, and the volume uh, adjustment are, you know, um, are lower. Okay. So this graph tells you that not all businesses have the same strategy. Okay. It depends on what the business places more importance. Um, you. Yeah, uh, uh, the strategy will be will be uh, will be set. Okay, so for example, this business when you have a high cost, yeah, when you have this as very high, it means the business has high costs. Okay, they have high costs because they want other objectives to be very good. Okay. So it's a, يعني هي compromise between the performance objectives. من علي the cost, نكسب أشياء تانية. من خفف the cost, okay. كل شيء بيجي ما أبيله شيء. Okay. If you want to increase, uh, so if you want to decrease your speed, you cannot be flexible. يعني it's either speed or flexibility. They, it's very hard to have them together. Alright. High cost or low cost, معلش مس. In this case, this is high cost. Bil purple. This is high cost. They, they are concentrating on cost. They want it high or they want it low. No, I mean, uh, time. Show. I'll show you. 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 I'll show
اوكي حتى تفهموا الفكره هو التو بزنسز او اي ام وسبير هلا اف يو جو باك تو ذا بوك يو ويل هاف اول ذا اكسبلينيشن هون وي اونلي هاف يعني ذا جراف طيب ليتس سي انا عم سوق السياره بنص الطريق شو حيصير معي فجاه صار معي فلات تاير اوكي راح الدولاب اي هاف تو تشينج ماي تاير اوكي سو When you want to change the tire, you either have an extra tire in the trunk. هاي ده دولاب الاكسترا اللي بتحطوه in the trunk. بتجيبوه على مهل يعني ما حيكونوا انتو كتير مستعجلين على انه تجيبوا الاكسترا تاير وتحطوه بالترنك. بس لو انتو ما عندكم اكسترا تاير شو رح تعملوا؟ You have to call exactly. You have to call a service that gets you the spare tire, صح? هاي ال company هي ال purple color, okay? So أنا as a customer بهاي ال الحالة, what am I mostly interested in? شو أهم شيء عندي as a customer? It comes fast, okay? So the order lead time, and meeting the specification, and he has to get me the right tire for my car. Meeting the specification, which is the quality, are the the most important things for me. Even if the price is high, even if the cost is high. So at this point, I don't care about the cost. The cost is high, but I have to find the right company that brings me the order uh, uh, fast and correct. Okay. On the other hand. If you are not in a hurry, if you are not in a hurry, then you will buy the tire from OEM, which is the original uh, manufacturer. Uh, e, I forgot what E stands for. So it's the original equipment manufacturer. Okay. Uh, this is the orange business. In the orange business, the cost will not be too high. Okay. Uh, but We want to make sure that um, this business will mostly be dealing with the car factories, for example. Okay, not with individuals. So the customers of this business, the orange business, are mostly other factories or other stores, yani other businesses in general. Okay, so. Uh, the cost should not be too high. This is why the cost is lower here. Okay. And what's extremely important here is to have zero errors with producing uh, the, 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 the tires. All right. Now, you might ask me, why is the order lead time here very, very low? Why is meeting specification very low? Because, because when you order, if you have a factory and you order from another factory, you should order ahead of time. Yeah, you should order one month ahead. Okay, this is why the order lead time here is not a priority because you already have enough time to um, to prepare your order. Okay. But if it's an emergency, somebody has a flat tire in the middle of the road, then the order lead time will be of the highest importance. Okay? Again, this is only a representation to show you how different businesses will have different strategies depending on who their customers are. So, yeah. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Now we will move. Uh, so this is week seven, uh, the second part of week seven. We will move to session 10, marketing and operations. Now, throughout uh, this session, uh, if you remember, we talked about 
the uh, performance objectives, quality, speed, uh, flexibility, sustainability, dependability, and cost. So we explained these concepts and we said how they are related together. We said how um, you can't have it all. Okay, you need as a company, as an organization, as a strategy, because we are talking about the strategy of the operation, you should either focus on the cost or the quality or dependability, or maybe you can pick two to focus on fully. You cannot have uh, a, a great quality product with very good speed, with a, a high dependability, uh, with a low cost. Okay, so always something has to come at the expense of another thing. In session 10, we will look at marketing and operation and how they are related together. In the first part, we studied about marketing, uh, first part of the course, we studied about the marketing and we went through very important marketing concepts like marketing mix and uh, so on. Then we moved to operations and we explained what operations management is. So it's basically producing the products uh, of the uh, of the company, producing the products of the organization. Um, marketing and operation are known to be two business functions of the organization that are, yani they have a lot of tasks to do together, back and forth between marketing and operation. So definitely we need a lot of coordination then see, right? We need a lot of coordination between these two business functions. If there is no coordination between the two business functions, you are going to have many quality issues, many mistakes and many problems happening uh, over there. But these two business functions are very famous in the market, yani at organizations, uh, to always have conflicts between the two, uh, the two functions. Um, a commonly used term is siloed working, which represents a lack of communication between management functions. So a lot of times you see uh, different business functions when they don't communicate with each other, we call them siloed working. So they are working silently. They don't communicate and the result will be a, a bad result for the organization when we do this. So um, the companies driven by marketing planning could allow operations strategy to drift through lack of attention. The cause of conflicts between marketing and operation. What is the cause? What, why why uh, uh, these two business functions have this conflict? Because there is a difference in the way that marketing managers and operations managers were evaluated and rewarded. In organizations, usually the marketers are more driven to sales, to selling more, right? The operation is more driven to making more products, all right? Now, marketing, when marketers promise uh, the customer that they will deliver better products and more products, maybe sometimes the operations management is not able to deliver. So what happens here is that marketing is promising something on behalf of the operations management, okay? without coordinating with them. Okay, so yani, for example, marketer says, okay, I can deliver uh, 1,000 of this chair to you in one month without going back to operation. Now, when the operation receives the order, they say it's impossible for us to make 1,000 chairs in one month. We already have back orders. We already have other orders to submit and so on. But because marketers want to make more sales because their commission Okay, is made depending on how much sales they make. Sometimes this kind of conflicts happen between marketing and operations. Okay, do you get the idea here? 
Now, also, the marketing managers are more inclined on qualitative data. So data that is uh, a quality data, يعني qualitative. They try to describe things. They try to say things with words. This is what qualitative data is. Quantitative data is more towards numbers. And this is what operations managers are good at. Crunching numbers, making sure their numbers add up uh, in uh, the operation and so on. So we have this difference is the cultural difference between marketing managers and operations managers. Having different tasks and different ways of working and social concerns. So this uh, uh, this what creates the conflict between the two business functions. We also have some more complicating factors that include the need to interface not only with each other's but also with other business functions. We also have to interfere with HR, with accounting and finance, with upper management. All of these, they, يعني, everybody has to coordinate uh, together, not only the two business functions uh, that we are discussing. Uh, the need for cooperation being greater for companies who are growing very quickly. If a company is growing very quickly, definitely this coordination is much more needed. Also, technology change is putting greater strain on product demand and processes. Technology is also creating more and more demand for some products. Okay, so, so these are some of the complicating factors uh, for the relationship between marketing and operations. Now, during the product life cycle, yeah, and what is the product life cycle? The product life cycle is the product uh, since it's launched. Okay, the product is launched and then the product progresses in the market. It becomes famous, it becomes known. People start to buy it more often. It becomes a regular, uh, regular product for uh, for the company. Okay, so uh, the product life cycle uh, it changes over time. Okay. Um, the nature of the competition changes. The customer needs change. Operation requirements change. So what we are saying here, that the relationship between marketing and operation will not stay the same because all the factors surrounding them, whether the market or the customers or competitors, they are all changing all the time. Okay, so you cannot coordinate once and stop because things change and you have to keep on coordinating because things are changing. OK, you might enter new markets. Uh, you might change your positioning uh, uh, in the market or your competitors may change their offering or their product. So again, all of these points suggest that change is always happening and therefore new coordination is always required. The signs of improved coordination between marketing and operation. Um, lately, it's seen at organizations that new roles have been created. So, yeah, any new, new roles. Uh, we know that we have a marketing manager. We know that we have an operations manager. This new role has been created, which is a marketing operation manager. What is the responsibility, do you think, of this manager? It's the coordination between the two functions. Because as the name implies, marketing operation manager will coordinate between the two business functions. Uh, so also the traditional management of marketing channels is beginning to be replaced by holistic approaches. Yani, not anymore we have separate business functions. We are trying to combine the work of both functions as much as possible in order to solve the problem of miscommunication. 
So here we have some examples of uh, conflict between marketing and operation. For example, the first one is under capacity planning. What does capacity mean? Capacity means a okay? Al maqdira ala al production. How much I'm able to produce. So a factory, for example, that has a hundred uh, square meter a size has a different capacity than a factory that has 200 square meter uh, size, right? So the bigger your size is, the more capacity you can make. So if you are producing chairs, the capacity means how many chairs you can produce per day. Some factories tell you, I can produce 100 chairs per day. Other factories tell you, I can produce 1,000 chairs per day. Okay, this is what the capacity means. Now, for marketers, they tell you we are always short of uh, products. We need more products. We have more demand uh, from the customers, but we are unable to meet the demand of the customers. Operations say marketing did not tell us how much they needed. Okay, so obviously here, we have a lack of communication between the two business functions. So operations are short of capacity, but uh, uh, marketing didn't tell them how much they needed. Okay, so again, no communication. Another problem area is scheduling. What does scheduling mean? يعني مواعيد التسليم أو مواعيد الإنتاج. Okay. The schedule is when to produce or when to uh, sell your products. The marketing manager would say, operations take too long to deliver. But the operations perspective say, well, the marketers promise them something that is impossible for us to make. Okay, يعني if, uh, for example, you go to a store, you want to buy a dress, for example. Okay, the dress is not available, it will be made for you. So the salesperson there promises you, oh, you will receive your dress in three days. Okay, now for the operation, the, the factory that is making the dress, they think that three days is impossible. Why did you promise the customer something that we cannot deliver? Okay, again here, it's a lack of communication. Marketing promises something that operation is not able to deliver. Okay, so we have uh, so many examples here, like uh, stock control, uh, the range of uh, products that is uh, uh, provided to the customers, the new product development, all of these are areas uh, that are examples uh, for conflict between marketing and operation. Okay, let me discuss also the stock stock control. Marketing will say we don't have the right things in stock. We want our customers are demanding products that we don't have them in stock. Okay, but from the operation perspective, they tell you that keeping all products in stock all the time is very expensive, okay? Just like the IKEA example. How many times have you been to IKEA and you found that the product that you want is not there, all right? And they tell you it will be delivered in two weeks. Come back after two weeks, you will, you will find your products there. Why is IKEA always short of products? It, it happens on purpose because they want to reduce the costs of having so much inventory, now having so much stock, يعني بضاعة. the more stock you have uh, uh, stored in your warehouse, this stock is costing you money to buy it, to store it, to have it on hand, all right? So this is the perspective of the operation. Okay, again, here we have 
different point of views between the marketing and the operation function. Any questions about the conflicts? OK, so in your um, textbook, uh, you will browse through the files. Uh, you will go. This is an extra activity. You can do it after you study uh, the whole chapter. Uh, so you will read the IKEA case page on uh, on page 121 and go to session 10. Do the activities on IKEA. OK, so this is a type of application that you do after you study. Uh, the uh, the chapter that will help you. This is a uh, uh, extra activity that will help you have a better understanding of uh, of the, the course material. Do you have any questions? <laughs> 